with me now Friday <laughs> oh my gosh you're all like cringing at me right now anyway guys it is Friday start of the weekend fab fabulous and I've seen from my social media today that lots of you guys have actual full-on snow where's our snow Jane <laughs> there ain't no snow <laughs> out there and if anyone's getting snow i want snow jane's thinking no we don't no i do <laughs> i do yeah so it's absolutely freezing it's like what was the temperature today it's like two degrees or something yeah. it's so cold but i actually like it because the sun's shining it's crispy cold it's really nice anyway me and jane are just off out running some errands this morning i need to pick up some stuff from Geisley. And then a couple of weeks ago, you guys may remember, I think it was just after, was it after my last scan, Jane? Yep. After my last scan, we went to Mother Care and we bought a Tommy Tippy prep machine type thing. Now, I am planning on breastfeeding. I need to do a whole story on that. But we're just being prepared in case we want to use bottles. And this machine I bought, I was really happy with, really excited about. But so many of you guys messaged me and said, don't use that machine. It can make your baby sick. Do loads of research on it. And so I did loads of research. And there were quite a few reviews saying that it had made their baby sick. And that the filter goes mouldy or something inside. So I did some more research. <coughs> Excuse me. And I... And I found that it also has on it a really annoying beeping sound, which can become quite frustrating during the night when you're trying to use it. So after more research, I found that the brand new one that Tommy Tippy have just brought out, the day and night prep, is different. And it's got a self-cleaning filter or something. Oh, the filter's easiest to get to to clean. And it doesn't have the beeping that the one we've bought does. So we're going back to Mother Care today and we're going to take that one back. And hopefully, maybe, I'm not sure, I'm still not 100% decided, maybe by the new one. Are you ready to go? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. What's up I fam? Good morning. I don't know what on earth is going on with my face today but let me just apologise for this. Don't know what's going on. Every single time I get tonsillitis and have to take antibiotics this happens. I get some mad rash around my nose. Don't know what's going on but it is super sore and doesn't look very nice so apologies for that in advance guys before I even start talking anymore. So very, very kindly, Sarah has left me to my own devices today, which to be fair, I really needed. I should have listened to my brain yesterday when it was telling me not to go out and skate, and stay inside and rest up. I didn't and I feel so much worse for it today, literally, oh my goodness. Not to complain, this is the only bit of complaining I'm gonna try and do in this video, but this tonsillitis has got me rough and I've just spent the morning, it's currently actually not morning, it's just after 12 and I have just spent the morning pretty much chilling out. I've had a big old long bath, and chill out in bed watching too many YouTube videos trying to feel better. Sarah's left me to my own devices. So she's gone out with my mum today which you guys know because you've all seen and they're doing their own thing which I'm really grateful for because all the girls don't actually come home on a Friday until like four o'clock so I've got a bit of extra time as well before even they come home just to chill zen have some soup for lunch which is what I'm about to do and feel better. So we just got to Crown Point, nipped over to Mother Care and dropped off the prep machine. We're now nipping into Next because we saw a super cute, born in 2019, sleep suit. But they only had it in blue in the newborn size that I want and I'd really like to just get it in white. So we're going to see if this store's got it in. They've got it, yay! So this is what I was after. <laughs> Don't you think that's so cute? Hang on a second guys. There we go. First size. Love it. The best soup when you're feeling poorly with a sore throat. Cream of chicken. Yes, yes. So we just came into Asda to pick up a few more packs of essentials. Things for my like my hospital bag and things like that. Look how cute guys. Look how cute. This little one is. The camera won't zoom in on it. It's got like dinosaur. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. It's got like dinosaur hat, hood, and it's just the cutest thing ever. It's seven pound as well. It's such a good price. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Oh my gosh, look at the little doggy sets. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> so we just got back in the car after. I've... It's snowing. 
It's it actually is snowing right now. We just came out of Asda and Jane said, I feel like it's snowing. I was like, no, I don't think yeah. it is. But it actually is. It's proper snowing. That's so exciting. I get to drive for the first time in snow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, guys. I know there's no snow on the ground. <laughs> anyway, it probably won't set either or lay. We just had such a successful trip in Asda, George. I absolutely love that shop. We just got so much stuff for the baby. All essentials, hospital bag. Well, I say essentials. <laughs> yeah. a, couple of out a couple of outfits might have slipped in. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but we got loads and loads of stuff. I also found some bottles that you guys recommended because I took the Tommy Tippy ones back to Mother Care that we bought last week because I just thought if we're not going for that steriliser, not steriliser, the prep machine. Um, I don't know, I just heard good reviews on these other bottles and they had them for a cheaper price on Amazon but then when I went into Asda just then they were the same price on Amazon as what they were in there so got those, um, I'll do a haul when I get home but that was super successful, we got so much stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. Always so much more successful when Chris is not with me, I wonder why. <laughs> Because he's a man and he's like, no, no, don't need it, don't need it. <laughs> so we're just packing out and getting ready to go to swimming. Turn around, girls, let's have a look at your new bags. Very nice. Mum brought home these little mermaid fishtail bags for swimming. Look how perfect they are. They're so cute. Where did you get them from? Six pounds from Asda. Six pounds from Asda. Very nice, Isla. I know, you guys look super cute and ready for swimming. Are you ready for swimming this week? Yeah. No complaints? Yeah. We're just down, we're happy to go? Yeah, okay, man. Go. Come on then, girls, let's bounce. Oh, out right into that cold. It's so cold. freezing it's tonight. Oh, it's raining, it's snowing or it's raining? It's snow raining. It, it is, it's, it was, it's snow raining. Yeah, it was raining, it was snowing before. It is actually snowing right now. It's Although the ground's super wet, so it's probably not gonna lay. It's Man, we're getting the best of both worlds tonight. It's definitely snow. And no, this is That's rain. Snow. The snow and rain. Yeah, the snow and rain. Okay, man. <laughs> so Chris has just taken the little two to swimming. I am so glad that I don't have to do the swimming run on a Friday anymore. Well, not anymore, but me and Chris have kind of got a little deal going where I do the long dance on a Wednesday, which is sat for nearly four hours on a Wednesday and he takes them swimming on a Friday just because it's so 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 hot in that swimming pool and it always makes me feel so bad and just so not good so anyway he's going to do that I was just about to start making dinner and I suddenly thought to myself I really fancy Chinese <laughs> I know it's bad I know it's naughty but we've been literally I don't know I've been thinking about chicken fried rice since I saw somebody's status about it the other day and it was on my Facebook someone said I'm having chicken fried rice and I was just like oh really fancy chicken fried rice this was on like Tuesday and I thought about it Wednesday thought about it Thursday but I didn't we've we've eaten at home and I just thought you know what it's Friday night I just sent Chris a message saying just about to put your jacket potato in and then thought do you fancy Chinese and Chris doesn't need asking twice guys ever ever he's like hell yeah i'm on my way <laughs> so chris has gone to get us a chinese with the girls isabel's just upstairs i think she's doing some um homework and i'm about to put the few bits of shopping etc that we got today away i'm trying to think if i've got anything that i can show you guys i'm kind of thinking about hauls that i can do on sarah says i know lots of you guys have been asking and i've got like a list of things i want to film and upload to that um that channel so a couple i've got in mind are my favorite baby outfit baby essentials what's in my hospital bag etc etc but i need to collect the bits that i need obviously for my hospital bag etc etc before i can film and upload that for you guys but they are coming in. I have got them wrote down I've got them in mind so they're coming I am interested to hear what bottles if you are a parent or if you're pregnant what bottles have you bought that you've decided to go for if you're not breastfeeding or even if you are breastfeeding and you still want bottles as an option because that's where I'm at I'm planning on breastfeeding I didn't do it very successfully with Isabel 
definitely. Um, I think I lasted like three weeks with her and I was so, I didn't do good. And then um, when I say I didn't do good, I don't mean that if you don't breastfeed, you're not doing good as a parent. I don't mean that. What I mean is I wanted to breastfeed and I wanted to continue and I felt like I couldn't. So I felt personally like I didn't do good. Um, and then with Esme, it was a tiny bit longer, maybe five weeks. And then with Isla, it was 10 weeks I lasted. And it was honestly the worst 10 weeks I feel like I've ever had. It was not good at all. And she lost so much weight in those 10 weeks. It was really difficult because the midwives obviously want you to succeed in breastfeeding and they kept saying just keep going just keep going just keep going and I did and I just saw the weight literally coming off of her and you know when you get the red book and they follow like the centile chart I think Isla was always on like the 40th the 40th centile and then by the time she was 10 weeks old she wasn't even on the chart anymore <laughs> her weight wasn't even registering on the chart so she'd gone right down and her weight had actually gone completely off the centile chart and that's when I said, no, this is ridiculous. She's starving. Enough's enough. I'm topping her up with a bottle. And I remember the first time offering her a formula bottle just after I'd had her on my breast for like 45 minutes. And this was when she was 10 weeks old. Literally was just topping her up. I made a four ounce bottle and she drank the whole four ounce within about 10 minutes. The whole four ounce. And then went to sleep for two hours. And I was just like, oh my gosh, she's like a different child. Um, so it was definitely the right, the right thing to do with Isla. Hoping I can be more successful this time, but if I'm not, I'm not. So I'm being prepared and I bought bottles. Anyway, these are the bottles I bought today. I think I actually showed these in Asda, so if I did, I apologise. But I just bought these anti-colic self-sterilising, is it mam or mam? I think it's mam bottles and i've read up really 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 good reviews on these and i thought it was super cute and so i got two packs of those along with some newborn teats because these come with from two month teats with isla we use dr brown's but i just found them a big 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 faff to wash and sterilize they come with so many little bits and tubes and all sorts but yeah comment down below guys if you've had any luck with these type of bottles or if not what bottles you used that you thought were really good the baby's literally got the cutest hiccups right now i'm trying to hold my breath and film it on my phone but i filmed it like five times and it keeps going out of focus i'm going to hold my breath and see if i can capture it It's just moved. <laughs> totally moved out of the way, so it's definitely not going to capture it now. Oh, um, gee, guys. So tonight we have ordered a <gasps> juicy Chinese. OMG, we always go for the sweet and sour chicken with rice and noodles. Looks so good. Girls, what, what have you got? You got the same? Yeah. And it yeah. tastes so good. Yeah, it's We amazing. love getting sweet and sour, don't we? It's our <gasps> favorite. Mm. The girls have actually come home from swimming. That's why the hair's bit Mine's dry. Mine's, not, mine's dry too. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to tuck in to our meals because they look delicious. My goodness guys that chenny literally killed me off i ate way too much as i always do with chenny's because it's always so nice I just can't stop eating it even when i'm full and i should have done but i didn't anyway i've just come upstairs to get myself ready for bed and i saw this little giraffe sat here looking kind of worse for wear <laughs> and i had a funny story to tell kind of funny right so this is the giraffe here here's his head and his neck there we go and then here's his little foot there we go okay so it's in three pieces now we didn't just break the giraffe it happened by accident in the car yesterday i got that when i was at the pound shop with nikki and we put it into the boot of the car chris put it into the boot of the car a little bit not really secure i didn't know there was something in there that was breakable and when we went around the corner it, it basically just got smashed it was just an accident it's not a big deal it was a pound from the pound shop so today when i went out with chris's mum chris said oh so look at me I'm going to show you this on camera, but what? That's so cool! And then I made one of me as well. Let me just finish this story and you can show the iPhone. So, 
Chris said, I know. I was, it got smashed. So I said to Chris, don't worry, I'll get, you know, so Chris said to me this morning, can you get some super glue whilst you're out today so I can fix the giraffe? And I said, it was a pound from the pound shop. I'll just buy another one. And he was like, no, why would you do that? And I was like, because it was one pound and it get super glue is going to be like two pounds 69. Why would well, I just buy a new one? And he said, I feel sorry for it. Like we broke it. What are we going to do with it? Put it in the bin. Can't do that. Get the super glue. He feels sorry for a porcelain giraffe, guys. A porcelain giraffe. That's just silly. <laughs> Look, he's fixed. I fixed it. <laughs> Esme, if that was yours, would you pay £2.69 for some super glue or would you just buy another one for £1? Just buy another one for £1. <laughs> would you actually? Yeah. What would you do, Isla? Um, buy one for £1. Isabel would definitely buy one for one, but your hair looks so beautiful as like right now. Yeah. <laughs> you can li <laughs> It does as it looks really bright and okay, cool. so Okay, go on, you can show the iPhone. In school, in class, I was kind of just doodling. Um, because I had some free time because I finished all my work. So and right, anybody comment down below before I do this magic trick, guess what this is. What is it? I'm it's a fish. fish, but guess what I'm gonna do with it? It opens, okay? Three, two, one. It's <laughs> all swimming, all cute, and then it's <laughs> That's so cool. So that's my first one. Yep. And then I've made loads of these, they're all in my tray at school. And okay, then... and this is obviously a monster. Yep, and it's me <laughs> as a monster. You ready? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Esme, that looks exactly like you. <laughs> that looks just like you, Esme. <laughs> Isn't that cool, Lila? Yeah. That's so cool. iPhone, comment down below. Would you buy £2.69 super glue and fix the giraffe? Or would you just spend one pound and buy another one? So Isla's going for a new hairstyle, guys. She's decided she wants her hair in a middle parting. It looks cute. I, I like, like it. it. If that's how you like it. That's I've got a new hairstyle as well. That looks kind of like Esme has a hair half the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like she's just been pulled through a bush. I like it. I'm just joking. Babe, I was just telling everybody about um, your giraffe story. <coughs> how you'd rather spend more money Pretty. on super glue than just buy a new giraffe for a pound. Mm -hmm. To be fair, guys, saving on landfill. Actually, no, you're not. Because well, I just feel like it's got feelings and I can't bear it being broken because I broke it. So <laughs> I can't bear it being broken. I really wanted you to stay with me, but you I killed know. me. I know, I always <laughs> And I like, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we are going to end today's video here. Esme, are you ready for Friday night? Oh, yeah. Are you ready for the weekend? Oh, yeah. I think Prin is ready for the weekend. So, just before we do say goodnight. I nearly forgot. Esme nearly forgot to tell you guys something. Do you want to tell them? Okay, I'll tell them. Okay, so, basically, this week, I have, my teacher's been saying how proud she is of me because I've been putting my hand up a lot more, getting involved in more things, and one thing that is called common sense that I use Miss Max said, um, is like, is like because, um, right, we had all these different, um, things on the board, and one was electricity, yeah. and then another one was a light bulb, and x-rays and all stuff you need for electricity. So some people said the most important thing is an x-ray. Some people said it's a light bulb because you wouldn't have light. But then I said, well, it's the electricity. And I can't believe nobody said this. It's electricity because none of them stuff would work unless you had ele electricity. So. <laughs> electricity is the most important. Yeah. <laughs> I was really impressed. Yeah. But, so basically, I got that of the way. Esme got a certificate, Yay! she got star of the week. Uh, so we, we knew, we kind of thought this week she's been trying so hard. We, yeah. In fact, we've even told the iFam so many times over the last week how proud we are of you as well. Yeah. Haven't we? So we're so proud yeah. that you got star of the week this week. I'm so happy. My hair looks pink on the end, on the camera, slightly. But anyway, yeah! <laughs>
I've got a really funny story to tell you about Esme's hair, but I'm not going to do it now because this ending's dragging on for ages. But Esme, no, it's funny. It was shall we tell them? Yeah, tell them? Just do it quickly. All right, really, really quickly then. Esme, <laughs> Esme. It was in London, wasn't it? Was it in London? Yeah, I think it was in London. She yeah. was playing with her hair and she went, "Oh yeah, mummy," and I was like, "What? What?" I thought like she'd found a knit in her hair or something. I was like, "What? What?" She's like, "I think the orange is washing out my hair. I can see a blonde bit." <laughs> I was like, Esme, your orange can't wash out of your hair, darling. <laughs> it's not possible for that to happen. She went, I'm, I'm not washing it anymore. I think the orange is actually washing out. Can orange wash out? Can my hair turn blonde? I was like, no, no, darling, your hair can't turn blonde. If it does, I'm dyeing it back orange. And she's terrified that her hair, was, <laughs> that she was washing the orange out of her hair. Because she absolutely loves her hair, don't you? Yeah. It's so beautiful. But she thought she was washing the orange out of her hair. So I found, comment down below and reassure the girl. You can't wash your natural. <laughs> out of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodnight to the eye for Mesme. Thank you guys. all so much for watching. See you tomorrow at 5 pm. Bye! Bye.